What is up everyone, welcome back to another Gunpla video and today I'm taking a look at the figurized bust of Setsuna FSA. Of course he's from Mobile Suit Gundam 00, you can't really see it there because of the price tag. Speaking of which, this cost me 960 yen. The usual price I think is 1200, that's kind of the Aurora P. Sometimes it's less, I doubt it's ever more, hopefully it's not. But anyway, let's check this out. So let's get the plastic off the box first, that comes off pretty easily. There is the front of the box, Setsuna himself, there is the bust, already not quite looking like that really is it? I guess it's cheap and it's a model kit so maybe it'll look different when we get it out but either way it's okay looking, not the greatest. Flip that over to the side, we've got a blurb on Setsuna himself on that side, flipping around to this side and we've got basically about the model kit. So that's pretty much all that's there, let's open the box, see what is inside, this is not opening too easily, okay. Actually, before I get onto this, I'll mention that I've done this once before with the Kiri Yamato base, but I deleted the video by accident, so this is feeling a little bit familiar to me. So first off, in here we have this runner, which is kind of like a real grade runner, the way these are two. So first off, we've got this runner here, which has the face as well as the neck. As you can see, this is kind of like a real grade runner, as it's one layer overlaid over another one to make two parts, so it's pretty well done, I have to say. I think the eyebrows, everything there, that's not paint. That's been molded this way. Bandai really are the kings of the model kits. By far, nothing compares at all. Here we have another runner that's overlaid just like the last one and this makes the eyes, I think. Oh yeah, there we are. Again, this isn't painted. This has been molded like this. This is some crazy plastic magic right here. That's pretty cool. On to the next bag then, and we've got obviously there the body. We've got some stickers. The stickers on Kiri Yamato, they were exactly like this. They're not quite what Gundam stickers are like. They're a little bit softer, a little bit different. They're not great, they're not horrible, but as you can see, maybe you can't actually, but this is all serrated up here. This here has a lot of cuts in it right here. That means it has to go around a curved surface, and that never really works out too well, does it? There is A2, we've got a bunch of other colors there, parts of his body. Next up then are these black runners and what we've got is the base which the bust sticks into and around here we've got the parts of his hair. I think that's all for runners, yep, we've got this where we can take an online survey where you can win some gunpla through that and here is the instructions. So there is the front of that, again same picture of Setsuna as well as the bust. Around here on the back we've got all the runners that are included. And there are the instructions all in color on that side and in a light blue around on this side. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's just outright ignore the instructions and start from the bottom up. Okay, so that's that base section finished. Let's cut out the torso. Okay, so that's everything cut out. I'm not gonna clean it up, I'm just gonna throw it together really quickly. So that right there is the torso with no cleaning up whatsoever. You can see there's a few knobs here and there. Not too many, some are hidden in underneath and whatnot, but again, not too bad. I haven't added the stickers yet, I'll put them on after, but let's stick him down onto the base there. Okay, next up then are the parts of the head, now let's cut them out. Okay, so there are all the parts of the head cut out, now let's stick them together. Okay, so there he is without his hair, looking really, really weird. On to the next part, and that is the hair, so we've got a lot of things to cut out here. So that's all of them cut out, that's all the parts there. Again, I'm not going to clean these up, let's just stick them on and see how it turns out. So there it is, finally with the hair attached. Again, I didn't clean these up so you can see all the nubs around there. 
Let's zoom in a little bit closer for a closer look. And pretty much there we go. It looks good, not great. Giving it some paint would definitely make it look that much better, but it's not something I'd really recommend rushing out to buy. I haven't used the stickers either. I did use them on the Kira Yamato. They were a little bit on the transparent side, but still they looked okay. But okay is it. They didn't look great. Is it a must buy? Not really. It doesn't really look that great. Maybe if you painted it up, it would look better. Actually, definitely, it would look better. However, Bandai are really showing off their molding chops here. What they've done with the eyes is incredible. The face as well. I've never seen anything with such an intricate mold. Again, it looks okay, not great. It would definitely go really well with your high grade, your real grade, your master grade double O kits. But to be honest, will this right here end up on my display shelf? Definitely not. If you're on the fence, I'd say take your thousand yen, buy a high grade, or put it towards a real grade. It really isn't worth it, I don't think. It's cool, it's just not awesome. But anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, and make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews. See you next time.